else is working. Hello. Sorry, you're going to see all the stuff on my camera every now and then. <clears throat> oh, my voice is still cooked. I've got the worst hay fever. Hey, guys. How are you all? Okay, I've got my chat over here. So if I'm looking over here, I'm looking at chat, okay? And also, my camera can't be on autofocus. If you tuned into my last, get ready with me on YouTube. If you know, you know. Um, so please tell me if I'm like super out of focus and I can refocus it. Hi guys. Hi Twitch. Hi YouTube. I'm on both Twitch and YouTube today. I was going to do TikTok as well, but I was like, let's just start here because I can never figure out where I want to stream and everyone follows me in different places. Do you know what I mean? But I can see all the chat um, and I'll try to read out any questions if people ask questions. So you guys obviously can kind of hear both. Oh, cool. I can see both of my chats on my software. That's handy. Is my sound okay? How's the sound? Got my mic. Is it okay? Is it too loud? Is it awkward? <laughs> hey guys. Hi Amanda. Hi Olivia. Hi Leah. Hi Destiny. The quality is good. Sound is great. Yes. Hi from Hungary. Hi. Yes, this will be saved over on YouTube. Don't worry about it. You can go catch up tomorrow. All right, so my hair is a mess. The baby's asleep. I've got my water. I've wet my sponge. I feel like I'm prepared. I mean, I would like music on, but um, YouTube will like friggin' strike me if I do that. So we're just gonna have to sit here in awkward silence. Dumb. <laughs> I'm doing good today, thanks. How are you? Um, yeah, my hair's a bit greasy. It's probably about time I wash it, but I just could not be bothered because it's like a whole, it's a whole thing, you know. My hair is so, so, so long. Literally so long. I don't know what to do with it. Do I just freshen it, straighten it, or do I do like curls? What are we thinking? What kind of look do I plan on doing today? Honestly, probably just... Um, probably nothing too exciting. Probably just something really simple. Um, I don't even like wear makeup on Sundays really because it's usually just a chill day. We've got like a dinner, family dinner tonight. I just felt like streaming. I was going to do it yesterday, but I had to set up. So basically my old Twitch streaming computer that I used to like use to do like the gaming streams and stuff. Since I wasn't really doing that anymore, I moved it into this beauty room so that I could like stream higher quality, blah, blah, blah. Because if you know, you know, if you've seen some of my recent live streams, it was so glitchy. It was so laggy and just terrible. So I've moved this computer in because it's really good. It's a Windows one. Um, where was I going with this story? That's right. So I did all that. <clears throat> And then um, I had to like log in on everything, set it all up. So I did that yesterday. Um, and then by the time I was done, like Porter was getting up and blah, blah, blah. So today I just thought I would stream. So I really don't know what kind of, I think I'm just going to do a really chill makeup, like nothing crazy. I just felt like chatting to you guys. So just something fresh and pretty. Um, I'm not going to do any like bright makeup or anything. Dry shampoo. Yeah, I agree. Dry shampoo. All right. He will tell me off if he sees me using this dry shampoo. He doesn't like me using dry shampoo after the big lawsuits <laughs> with like Batiste or whoever it was. Um, so shh, it's our secret. Hi from Texas. Hey, where are you guys all from? Serbia. <clears throat> oh, someone else said do curls. Let's just see how this looks once I. Sorry if this sounds really like violent in the mic. Oh, it's kind of, you know when it comes out, it's, why is it not like putting the powder out? It's just spraying like the, you know, rainy LA. Oh, I honestly, I like the rain, but not when like I want to be doing stuff. Like it's a weekend. Oh, I've got dandruff again. My scalp ever since having a baby has become so much more sensitive. Come on. I don't know how this is going to work. We'll see if it works. The Netherlands, Canada, Scotland, New Jersey. Whoa. So many different places all around the world. Isn't that wild? What time is it where you guys are? It's 11.33 here. 
what happened to Batiz. Um, they had like a lawsuit for ingredients or something. I actually don't know. Hamish looked into it. I haven't looked into it. Um, but cancer causing ingredients or something like that. I think it was like another, you know, like Johnson & Johnson had that thing years and years ago. I think it was something like that. I'm not sure. I'm sure you could Google it. But basically Hamish is like, just wash your hair. But he knows how long it takes. I need to like get a different one that's maybe not an aerosol. Like I actually, I'm sure I have the Bumble and Bumble like volumizing one. Hold on, let me see down here. Oh, all my stuff's really messy because Porter's been playing in my room. <laughs> Maybe not. I actually, like, I, I think I do own it, but I just, maybe it's upstairs. That's all skincare, that's all tan. Okay. Oh, purple shampoo, I need that. I just ran out of my other one. Can you hear me when I'm down here? Okay, nah. Don't know. Regretting my life choices now. By the way, I have to keep like going like this with my camera so that it doesn't turn off halfway through filming. If it does turn off, I'm not anywhere. I will turn it back on. The stream won't end, but it's just annoying. Oh, okay. I feel like it's actually coming out now. How old is Porter now? He's growing so much. I know, right? He is two in May. So not far away now. Yeah, it's autumn. Our summer, um, it was pretty good. It was um, like some of it was like really windy, rainy, terrible. But then it was like when it was hot, it was hot, you know. I mean, I won't complain. I had a really nice summer because like Porter's at the age now where we could like do lots of fun things, you know, go to the park and stuff. And so like I really enjoyed my summer this year. Come on. I can like hear it, but it's just not coming out properly. I feel like it's still kind of working. I just, usually you actually get like the powdery stuff come out too. This is um collab. It's not actually Batiste, but I just assume it's like the same thing. I don't know. Don't know. Try loose seam part, that's a good idea. I'm just worried that it won't sink in properly and then I'll have like, I know it's a thing though. Honestly, I feel like it is working. It's just irritating. Get in there. Come on. Honestly, oh, what's this? Um, Root Boost Volume Powder. I don't know if that'll actually soak up the oil though. That's Bondi Boost. South Island Summer Suck, too bloody hot. Really? Sometimes it was very dry up here. Hey Shelly, yeah, that is a good idea to use baby powder or whatever. Hi Shan, this is my first stream. Hey Emma, how are you guys going? No, it's definitely working, look. Like, it's definitely working. The thing is as well is like, because my roots are so bad, I get my hair done I think next week. I need to check actually. Um, it's like my worst nightmare. Like sometimes I have like anxiety dreams where like I miss appointments. I'm one of those people that has to be like early to appointments, you know? Anyways, um, you know when you've got like really dark roots and it just makes your hair look oily as well, even if it's not. I think we're good though. I reckon that should do. Okay, what are we thinking? Some waves or straight? I mean, it's already pretty straight, so I could just touch up the straight or what do we do? I've already got my GHD plugged in though, so we'll use this. Turn it on. Brush my hair. Yeah, the foam dry shampoos are so good. I really like them. I just ran out of my last one from Got To Be, but I think they discontinued it. Like, obviously it didn't go that well, but I really liked it. And I think there's some high-end brands that do like the foam dry shampoos. I was looking on Mecca, but then I was like, <laughs> I didn't want to pay because I was like, I'm so used to like dry shampoos from Countdown that are like, you know, $15. 
And these ones on Mecca were like 40, 50, 60. I was like, I don't want to spend that much on a freaking dry shampoo. I might have to skip the live and go to sleep because I've worked tomorrow. That's okay, you can catch up. Um, I'll save it to my YouTube channel if you check out the lives tab. If you go to like my YouTube channel, there's a live tab. It'll be there. And I'll also save it on my like makeup look. What do I say? Playlist. You'll be able to find it. I'll put a direct link on my um, Instagram story. Already looks so much better just being brushed out. Look at that. <laughs> These roots back here annoy me. Like look at that whole area. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> Yeah, everything is so expensive at the moment. It's actually like, <gasps> ah! it's so bad. Even just like, you're like, I'm just going to pop in and get like four things from the groceries and it's like $80. I'm like, okay, never mind. It's so bad. Hey, Shannon, do you remember? No, who are you, Meadsy? <laughs> get out of my chat. <laughs> That's one of my IRL friends, by the way. Um, if you can call him that a friend, I don't know. <laughs> this is a tangle teaser um I like tangle teasers a lot because I get tangly hair I don't have like thick hair I've got like a lot of hair though I wouldn't say it's like thin it's just whatever but so much of it and so my hair and because it's so long it gets so tangled don't mind my voice I've got the worst hay fever I also just came out of the worst like sore throat of my life and then Porter came home with conjunctivitis on Friday. Luckily, I've not got it. Touch wood. But it's almost cleared up already. I feel like it didn't last very long. So that's really good for him and us. All right. It's honestly just one thing after another. Do I get my teeth whitened? Um, I have not whitened my teeth in years. They're actually, they're not yellow. Like, they're still pretty white, but... They used to be whiter than this. I actually keep saying to myself, I need to do a quick whiten. I really like the um, Crest White Strips. Oops, I'll just put my phone on silent. My hair's thin, but a lot of it, yeah. Does yours get really tangled as well? What are my plans for today? So I think after I do all my hair and makeup, Porter will probably be awake. So we'll probably have some lunch and then maybe I'll take him over to the park or something. It's a really nice day. And then later tonight, we've got like a family dinner. What's the difference between a tangle teaser and a normal rash? I don't know. I don't know why they work. It just, I don't know. I've got hair in this. I don't really want to show you up close. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, it looks like this. I don't know. But they work. I've been using them for years. I've got other normal brushes too, but I definitely feel like these ones work more gently to remove knots. Does anyone else think so? Have any of you tried this? Washing, wishing you a good day. Gonna be popping in and out, doing a pup painting commission. I have to keep checking a little popcorn face to make sure because they're all cute. Is New Zealand to live in general compared to Australia? Thank you of moving there in the near future. Any major differences in New Zealand culture versus Australian? New Zealand is more expensive from what I understand. Um, in housing, in just goods. Also, you typically do get paid less. <laughs> New Zealand is a brilliant place. It's beautiful, but I, I know plenty of people that have moved to Australia and have never looked back, if you know what I mean. Um, I've considered moving to Australia in the past, but I do love New Zealand and it's home and it's, you know, where my family is and everything. But, um, I mean, Australia also has its, ex has its expensive parts and everything too, right? I guess it just depends on the vibe. Australia weather's typically, you know, a bit hotter, nicer, whatever, but some people prefer like a colder t temperature. So if you do, then New Zealand's good for that. <laughs> and it's like a smaller place. Like, I don't know, everyone kind of knows everyone, but not really, but you know, sometimes. So just depends what you're looking for, really. My sister uses a tangle on her multi... Yeah, do you know they actually sent me um, tangle teaser? They actually sent me... They've got pet brushes now, but you could just use these. I have used these as well on my dogs, but then they like sent me a proper one that they developed for dogs. It's like the same thing, but I think a bit bigger or something. Um, I think I'm just going to straighten my hair because then I don't have to think about it because I'm just reading chat a lot. 
Shan, I've been a follower for 10 years plus and I've grown with you in your videos. Oh, that's so lovely, thank you. Yes, we don't have snakes. That is a positive. And we don't have as many, I feel like, dangerous spiders. Oh, almost knocked over my water bottle. Yeah, New Zealand does rock. I feel like I just bashed New Zealand. I hope you guys don't think that. No, it is amazing. But I'm just being factual. <laughs> but the thing about New Zealand is we're so far away. You know, someone commented on my TikTok today saying like, oh, I want to buy something from your brand, but the shipping's so expensive. And I'm like, yeah, it sucks. It's because we genuinely are like a little, little dot in the ocean far away from all civilization. <laughs> like, I mean, Australia's kind of close, but at the end, you know, it's still closer to other countries than we are. Like, if you live in Australia, like, it's cheaper to get flights around the world and things. And, like, cheaper to fly, um, not locally, but, like, you know, within Australia. In New Zealand, to fly to another city, it's so expensive. You're better off just driving if you can be bothered. We usually just drive everywhere. You were the first YouTuber I saw. <laughs> How's your spring going in Ohio? Whoops. How do you get around getting orders from America? What do you mean? Whoops. Oh shit, people are subscribing. Thank you for subscribing, by the way. YLK. Um, how do I make this little window bigger? Because otherwise I'm going to miss things. Ooh. Can I make that? Thank you um, to heaps of people for subscribing as well over on YouTube. All right, there we go. Okay, I can see everything now. Thank you for subscribing. I'm literally doing the most lazy straightening job because like I said, it's essentially straight already. Oh, they sent me their new one too. GHD has launched a new, plat it's not the Platinum Plus though, it's called something different. It's literally just like over there behind me, not where you can see, like whoop, that way. <laughs> Um, and it's meant to be even like quicker to style so I'm really excited to try it but I haven't opened it yet because I want to do a power haul literally like do I even need to straighten I feel like it's like nah yeah there's some little kinky bits Whoops, sorry if my mic's doing funny things. I keep smacking it. Oh my god, my hair. Like, I don't know how I still have any hair left on my head because every time I brush it, it molts so much. We'll just do a really quick once over because I cannot be bothered. Do you know what? This is making me feel so hot. This is the thing about having long hair. It's all fun and games until you start getting hot all the time because it's like wearing a literal blanket on your friggin' body. And my hair, like, it is very long, but, like, it looks even longer on me because I've got such a short torso. So it, like, brushes the top of my bum. And every time I get it done, I get such a big haircut, but. Whoops, hold on one second. What's going on here? My chat needs to be reflected. Sorry if I'm like missing chats because my chat just went all cooked. All right. How do I keep my hair so long and healthy? Um, I, I don't know. I just... I've been going to see people which hopefully are good <laughs> like at the foils and things so like I don't get too much breakage. I have a little bit of breakage at the front though because we went very blonde and I think my hair just freaked out. Um, I don't know. I just kind of try not to use too much heat. I don't use no heat but I don't, you know, I use my, um, my hair drying towels from XO Beauty to try and like get rid of a lot of the moisture before I blow dry if I'm going to blow dry or like sometimes I'll let my hair air dry um I don't heat style it all the time 
but when I do like I make sure to use heat protectants normally I didn't just then <laughs> um what else do I do I like to like plait it when I go to sleep usually because then it doesn't get as like knotty because when it gets knotty it snaps because I'm like ripping it apart but I don't know I just I've been growing it for a very long time you know Watching it while breastfeeding my one month old. Mama is tired. Oh my gosh, I remember those days. What do you think? How much money should I invest for a solid straightener? Um, well, I don't know. The thing with like GHD, for example, is like I bought one, like, so I used to have like cheap straighteners at like high school, right? And then I bought a second hand one. I'm just going to turn this off. Um, I bought a secondhand GHD off Trade Me back in the day, which is like eBay. I don't know if you're from New Zealand or not. And literally that thing was like 12 years old before it like broke. And then I've had like these ones for ages. I feel like if you're investing money, they do last a very, 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 very long time. Whether you do GHD, whether you do like, what are the other ones that are popular? Cloud, Cloud9. I had one of them, but I gave it to a friend because then I got GHD. Um, I don't know. I don't have much experience in like cheap straightening irons, so I can't really tell you if they compare or not. Um, I just know that I like these. Do you know what I mean? Have you ever considered going bronze with warm caramel highlights that blend to your natural hair color? I feel like it would look amazing. Well, I did have like the kind of like bronze top recently. Well, like a year ago, you know, like all my natural was kind of like blended in. I really need to start doing some makeup because I'm just talking so much right now. Um, and I really liked that, but I just felt like going really bright blonde for the spring, and I still do like it. I feel like I'll do bright blonde again at my next appointment next week, but I don't know, I'm kind of considering doing like the, not ombre, but you know, like the root root smudge, is that what they call it? Just so that I can go a little bit longer, because this is only five or six weeks growth. So, you know, I hate getting my hair done like I like it because it looks good but I hate sitting there and getting my hair done although my current hairdresser because I had to get a new one because my other one moved to Australia I'm just trying to find some hair clips sorry guys we're just gonna have to do unmatching ones today well the lighting just changed let me see if no blind is better um, my current hairdresser is very fast sorry please hold I'm just putting up my blind do, do, do. Hi from Poland. Hi from Boston. Yeah, I have been using GHG for a very long time. I've kept my hair long for at least 10 years now, but lately I've had so much breakage issues. I'm going to have to cut it to a bob. Oh man, that's devastating. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is so cooked. The hay fever right now is unreal. Um, literally, like, my throat and my eyes are so dry. My throat's so dry. And, like, I just feel like, you know, like, when your sinuses are a little bit, like, congested and shit. <coughs> Hence the, the giant water. Hi from the States. Hi. How do I say your name? Taylor? You would absolutely suit ombre. Oh my gosh, I had like actual ombre years ago and I loved it. When it was like brown to blonde, I loved that. Back when ombre was all the rage. How do I reset this? Refresh. No matter how I feel before your videos, you make me feel better. Thank you for your honest and like greetings from Germany. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Makes me happy. Everything here is currently covered in pollen. Oh yeah. I cannot figure out. Sorry guys. Don't mind me. Every now and then like the stream just stops refreshing. So I have to like refresh it. Do I still wear my wigs? I've got them like all in my wardrobe right now. I haven't worn one in a little bit. But I did, I actually came across a video of me wearing one, um, my newest like brown one that I got from Avasi Wigs. And I'm like, oh, I need to put that on again. I need to wear that again. Okay, the lighting's probably worse with the blind up. Let's try it down again. There's just a lot of clouds coming. 
Oh, I feel like I'm getting blinded by the sun now. More like a black, lively, natural ombre bronze. Yeah, I feel like if I did some kind of ombre, I would definitely do like a blonde or dark blonde to blonde blonde or whatever. Not like brown. What makeup trend do you want to come back? Huge lashes and super pale nude lips. 10 plus a year follower from Auckland here. I'm also doing my makeup for the day, getting ready with you. Hey, speaking of which, I still have not even started doing my makeup because I'm literally just sitting here chatting to you guys. Okay, let's do some makeup. I already have on like moisturizer and serum because I actually only just had a shower like an hour ago or so. Me and, um, I was gonna say me and Hamish. No, me and Porter were just hanging out on the trampoline all morning. He loves the trampoline at the moment. Oh, the lighting is just gonna keep going weird. Streaming, getting things done, do not go together. I know, <laughs> that's very much a fact. We're gonna use some of this e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. This is in the shade two, but it's like dark. <laughs> like it's literally called fair light. Like in what world is this fair light? No. Am I in focus good enough? How's Porter going with sicknesses from childcare? My one-year-old started in January and she's never been well since it's how honestly. It does get better. He now, like he was getting sick like every second week for a while there. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to keep adjusting while the clouds are going everywhere. Um, yeah, he was like sick every two, two weeks for a while there. But now he's pretty solid. Like he's pretty much fine most of the time. He got sick like a month ago. Um, and that was the first time since, like, he started walking pretty much, like, months and months and months ago. But then he just got conjunctivitis last week. But I know that's so common, you know, like, kids get that. Because they all freaking rub their faces and touch their faces and things and spread it. But he got some eye drops and literally he's already fine. Like, it lasted, like, literally 24 hours, if that, and it was never even that bad. We kept him at home, obviously, because I don't want him to spread it. Um, and like <laughs> that day he was like fine. <laughs> Trying to cook dinner and watch your live, not working very well. <laughs> He's almost two now, isn't he? Yes, he is almost two. I can't believe it. And in the last like couple of days, he's literally, not couple of days, kind of though. No, like the last like 10 days, he, um, he's getting so independent. Like we're going to the parks and stuff and he will like climb up the stairs, climb through the tunnel, go down the slide like all by himself without needing us to like, usually, you know, we'd like help pick him up, put him on his bum to go down the slide and like kind of guide him down. And like um, he was really nervous of tunnels, like he didn't really want to go through tunnels and just all these different things. And now he just goes for it and he loves it and he has so much fun. And it's like, like I feel so proud because I'm like, oh my gosh, look at you go, you know, it's real cute. I miss the vlogs, I know. <laughs> I'm so useless, I'm sorry. Oh, it's just, I don't know. Ever since having a baby, I've been shit at vlogging. Like I've still uploaded a decent bunch since he's been born, but um, not consistent enough. Like I have little blocks of being consistent and then that matches so well, by the way, I've got like a lot of fake tan on. So that's good. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. I have super dry skin. Which foundation or tint do you recommend for dry skin? That's not looking cakey. Uh, <coughs> sorry, my throat's really dry. That almost, ugh. Um, I don't obviously, like I don't have super dry skin, so I can't say for sure, but maybe someone else in chat can say otherwise. Um, perhaps try something like this, like the CC. This is beautiful and you can wear it like a little bit more sheer. You can build it up. Um, and it's like a moisturizing consistency. I love this, by the way. It's so good. I miss when mine were that little. I have been watching you since my 13 year old was younger than Porter is now. Oh my God, isn't that crazy? How did you come up with the name Porter? It's such a cute name, thank you. Um, so we just loved the way it sounded and we heard it because Hamish and I both have like one of our favorite music producers. We've always enjoyed his music. 
Porter Robinson, if you know, you know. Um, I think he's working on like emo albums at the moment, which I love, honestly. Um, but yeah, so like Porter Robinson's just like a musician, Hamish and I absolutely love. We've seen him live, like we listen to his music all the time. We always liked the name and yeah, it just was a name that kind of fit because we both loved it. I feel like it was a nice name. It wasn't something that was super common, but it also wasn't like weird, if you know what I mean. Like it wasn't like too unique, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, what foundation should I use? You know what? I might actually use this, the It Cosmetics, just because it's got SPF in it and I forgot to put my SPF on. Whoops, don't tell anyone. I don't wear any makeup because I can't be bothered, but I'm wanting to get a tinted moisturizer. Is there a couple that you can recommend? I don't mind if it's a little money, if it's, okay. I recommend this, um, the Tinted Veil by Ultraviolet and it's SPF 50 and it's actually really good coverage. It's not like, like it says it's a tint. I would say it's more like tinted moisturizer plus like a light coverage, kind of medium coverage, but you can share it out. And it's good if you don't wear makeup because it's not like you can share it out. So it doesn't look like heavy. You know, some products, like even this one, um, this one's actually quite a good coverage. Like I'll sh obviously put it on now and show you. Sorry, the lighting is terrible again. You know what, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> this is what happens when I film. This is why I get so pissed off. Cause like, come on. Cause the lighting changes so frequently. Much better, right? Um, this one is like a higher coverage. I'd say you can still share it out. So I wanna use a sponge or brush, I might use a brush. Um, but it's actually like very decent coverage. This is actually gonna be a little bit pale for me, but we'll do some like bronzing drops or something afterwards. Like, obviously I'm not done blending. Oh shit, now it's too bright, hold on. Obviously like, I haven't finished blending yet, but it's like a high coverage. Whereas the ultraviolet is much more like, if you're not wearing anything else friendly. Like if I just put this on with no like any other makeup, it would just look a bit full on. By the way, what amazing music. Crystal and Dean have their second baby on the way. I know, I'm so happy for them. I was just so, I think I like cried a little bit when I watched your video. Like, look at that. Definitely needed a darker shade. Let's go in with the sponge. Have you tried the glow version? I have, and I actually prefer the normal one, which is weird, because you guys know I love a glow. Um, cause the normal one's glowy anyway. I feel like the other one was just, I can't remember what it did. I did get it and I, I can't remember. It was something about the way it sat on my skin. I do prefer just the, like what's this called? Just the color correcting full coverage cream. I probably put on a little bit too much. You're all I watched as a teen and in my 20s, I grew up watching you and I just came across this live. Leo Ali BB cream days, hell yeah. <laughs> Leo Ali forever and always. That's probably why I love this CC cream so much because it reminds me of that a little bit. All right, that looks better. With the brush, it was kind of just sitting on the surface, so that did help. Do, 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 do. Let's change the lighting again. This is New Zealand weather for you guys. It's like four seasons in a day. Hello darling love from Canada, hey. I started listening to Ghastly years ago from a favorites video you did. Do you still like electronic music and do you have any other DJs to recommend? Oh my gosh, yes, I still listen to it. Um, if you literally go on Spotify and search ShanXO with three A's, like my username, you'll be able to find all my playlists. Go listen to my playlists because I'm always updating them. And I've got like so many EDM ones. My current favorite playlist I'm listening to are the energy ones, but they are like very hectic. They're like, um, like full on 
like electric dubstep metal kind of vibes. All right, I need, you know what though? I was gonna use like the bronzing drops, but I think actually what I'll do is I'll use like the cream bronzer and just kind of do contouring and stuff. And then hopefully like the color will look good. Cause it's, yeah, that color was by the way fair. And it's, yeah, it's too pale. Um, I'm gonna use my current fave. Sorry for snipping. I am feeling gross. I actually was meant to take an antihistamine before I came downstairs to do this and I forgot. This right now is the Emco Instant Contour Cream Bronzer in Light Medium. Doesn't look that pale on camera. Okay, good. Definitely in real life though, I can tell. <laughs> I'm gonna use a decent amount of this. I'm doing it before I do my um, concealer. Oops, I need to lock it. I love how these packagings lock because my Charlotte Tilbury one, look at this. I like once forgot to lock it and it exploded. It went everywhere and it's like gross. So now I always make sure to lock the packaging. <clears throat> Hi from Portugal, hey. From Illinois, from California, North Yorkshire. Is it Yorkshire? Is that how I say it? Yeah, that shade was fair. Sorry, I didn't say it on time. I think it was anyway, fair. I do have shade light too, which is like my fake tan shade, but God knows where I put it. Just change the lighting once again, why not? This brush I'm about to use is, I don't know what, but it's Iconic London. Are they still around? This brush is really old. Have you found a dupe for the bronzing drops? The ones I was going to use are um, these ones, the Emco ones, which are a dupe for the Drunk Elephant ones. Look how beautiful this blends out, you guys. I'm obsessed with this product. Like, are you joking? Look at that. So effortless. I can't win with this lighting. I feel the hay fever sniffles, constant drippy itchy nose, literally. I'm gonna ruin my foundation before I even like leave the house today because I'm gonna be like itching my nose and blowing my nose. I'm using my Lucent highlighter and it still slays, honestly, mood. That stuff was so underrated. <laughs> I mean, not by me. Oh, I love this. I just feel like it just brings the life back into my skin, you know? Oh my God, the sun on my body right now is so hot. I shouldn't have worn black. Okay. Sorry guys, usually I can edit this all out. I'm gonna put my blind back down. Hi from Florida. I read somewhere that our allergies slash hay fever act up like runny nose and eyes because we're Pouncing product on our side. Hold on, I'll read that to everyone else that's listening that can't see your comment. Because you're like bouncing on your sinuses with your brush and sponge. That makes so much sense, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, because I always find that when I'm doing my skincare and like, you know how I use that like retinol eye cream? Like I rub it like around my eye and I always feel like it depuffs and like I like feel like afterwards. And it's probably because it's like almost like what are those massages called? you know, the ones, um, lymphatic drainage or whatever it's called. So you're probably on the money with that. That's such a good point. And that's probably why, like, I feel worse right now because I've just done all this, like, face stuff. Never underestimate facial massage, honestly. Not you always struggle with the lighting, I know. Literally, it's just, it's just me. That's, that's just my life. <laughs> Oh, and I pop up and it's all dark. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> mm, I'm just using whatever's left on my chinny chin chin. Because I felt like everything was just blending into a thumb for a minute there. 
Please make a full size highlighter of the shimmer color in your original eyeshadow palette. Do you mean the, um, the Heaps of Sweets palette or do you mean my BH Cosmetics Shinixo palette? Which one are you talking about? I always ruin my eye makeup because I do it first. I always forget. Oh my gosh. You know what? I have not done my eye makeup before my face makeup in the longest time, but I used to love doing that and I should do it again. <laughs> da, 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 da. <gasps> You're my favorite person to watch every day when getting ready to go to work. It makes my day every single time. Oh, you're so sweet. Thanks, Selma. By the way, first, if you're just tuning in, I'm um, live right now on Twitch and on YouTube. Is it glitchy or is it just me, my end? Like, am I like lagging? Um, yeah, I'm twitching. I'm twitching. I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, so Just if anyone's confused but Yeah, I haven't twitch streamed in the longest time and I was like I need to because I miss you guys and I just started doing the odd makeup live stream again. And I was like, yeah, I'll just do it on both because I can't figure out What platform I like to use Because <laughs> I like them all because I've got different people, you know, that's the thing like you have different people everywhere does gua sha actually work? I want to try it. It does. It helps. It's once again, it like helps to like drain. Like I find it better in the morning because I don't know about you guys. When I wake up in the morning, I'm so puffy, like just everywhere. Puffy, puffy. Um, when I'm sick. Oh my gosh. I get so puffy. Let me fix this again. The BH Cosmetics one. Okay. Noted. I love watching your makeup vlogs. I get a lot of good ideas. It makes me happy. No noticeable lag. Okay, awesome. Lagging a tiny bit. It's not bad though. Okay, maybe it's just Twitch. Yeah, that's why if I'm talking about something, it's, yeah, if you can't see it, yep, that's exactly it. That's why I'm trying to like read the questions out loud so that, yeah, it makes sense. I know it's like kind of annoying sometimes when people like multi-stream. Hopefully this isn't too annoying. Like I said, I just got, I've got different people everywhere. <clears throat> Hi from Turkey at the moment, it's 2.09 in the morning or in the afternoon? Okay. Anyways, let's move along. I'll probably add some more um, bronzer soon. But let's do some concealer. I'm going to do a little drop of the High Glam by Natasha Denona in the shade P1. not automatically scrolling do I stream any games I used to um, I've been doing um, like gaming I haven't been doing gaming streams but my friend has been doing gaming streams and I play with her every day um, but I have not because I don't know for the longest time I couldn't because obviously Porter and he would like wake up like in the evenings randomly or like whatever so if I was like gaming with my friends like sometimes I had to abruptly leave to obviously go and settle Porter if he did wake up um so I just didn't stream games for the longest time and also because of a child I'm tired at night so I feel like I'm not that entertaining um I won't say never but at the moment like I'm just I don't know at the moment at night when he goes to bed what am I going to use? I'm trying to figure out what to blend this out with. I'll use a sponge. Um, you know, I'm just kind of like chilling. Just having some chill time with my friends and, you know. Like, I love streaming, but you see what's happening? Like, we're talking constantly and I get very distracted. <laughs> this, hold on, I need to refresh this. I feel like Twitch tends to lag more than YouTube in general. Not sure why. Interesting. Bye, Danny. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Jenny. Let me refresh this. It says I've got 206 viewers, but do I have 206 viewers on like one place or? Hold on. Oh, yeah, I see on total. In total, I do. I've got way more viewers on YouTube, naturally. Where's my chat gone? Sorry guys. 
honestly, you'd think I'd be like all over technology. I'm just not. Okay, I'm just not. Okay. All right, sorted.org.nz. Have any of you guys that are watching, like, do you guys play any games? What do you play? I've been playing um, pretty much only The Sims, um, Overwatch, and PUBG. Those are like my current three. Man, my eyes are red. I'm gonna put a little bit in my waterline too. <laughs> Oh, my jaw just clicked. Could you hear that? I love Stardew Valley. They just released a big update. Yes. Oh my gosh. I haven't played it yet. Is it on? Does anyone know if it's actually the updates out on console or Switch? I played, I've played on, I think most of the platforms. I've played PlayStation for like way too long, like hundreds of hours. I've played hundreds. No, I've played, I think I've played hundreds of hours on every platform. Um, yeah, my Switch I've played a long time. And I played it on PC too, slash my Mac. Just on PC, okay. Good to know. I play The Sims and Hogwarts Legacy. How's Hogwarts Legacy? Yeah, I love Stardew Valley on Switch. I actually think it's so good. Sims is my life because the real world is too hectic. <laughs> Plus it's easy to get a uni degree and a job in The Sims. <laughs> For real. <laughs> oh. How are Louie and Zeus? They're good. They're living their best life. Louie was just outside on the balcony in the sun, you know. Um, what set of, a little setting powder should I use? I love cozy games, mood lighting, hot drink, yes, vibes, honestly. That was me, like, with the, like, I went through, okay, so I'm still playing The Sims, but I went through, like, an addiction of this, you know how, like, you rediscover The Sims or you rediscover Stardew after having a break and like it consumes you. That was literally me. I'd like make my bed so it was like freshly made and then I'd sit on top of it with um, like my drinks, my computer. I'd put like a Twitch streamer on on the TV and then I'd have my laptop and I was just like playing The Sims all night. Like, oh, vibes. The powder I'm currently using, by the way, is called Cappuccino. It's the She Glam Baked Glow Setting Powder. Me, but with Animal Crossing, it's all consuming as well. Yes. I actually never really got into Animal Crossing, but I think it's because I was so obsessed with Stardew Valley. So, like, it just never clicked for me the same way. I mean, I had it... What did they launch on way back in the day? Like, Nintendo something? I had it then. But I don't know. It was in, like, 2014 or something. I've got this scab here from a breakout. My skin broke out so badly when I had a sore throat last week. <clears throat> I play Hogwarts Legacy 2, just started it last week, and I'm not a gamer, and I love it. Yes. I started playing it, but then I it was when Portal was like, I can't remember, he was going through a leap or something back then, and I just kind of like stopped. Might actually, I'm just going to use this on my sponge because I already picked it up, but I might actually just go in with a big powder brush. It's got my hair on it. My hair is everywhere. We'll just set real light. I'm trying to set it lightly. Oh, the lighting man. Go like that. I'm good, thanks, Jennifer. How are you? My partner always finds my hair all over him. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Hogwarts Legacy. It's so fun going on the quests and everything. It's addicting. I'm currently taking a break from it at the moment. Honestly, mood. I have to do that with games. Otherwise, I get so burnt out as well. Like I was saying last time I did a live stream over on YouTube. Um, I like got so addicted to The Sims again that I had to like 
keep switching between like building and playing because I'd like build, build, build and I just build like 10 houses. I was like so burnt out. I'd have to like switch to gameplay for a bit because typically I do prefer like build mode um, and just building like really cool houses. Where's my lid? Oh, there. Um, and when I do, I like get so burnt out from games, honestly. Can you recommend a good Switch game? I'm looking for new games to play. Honestly, on my Switch, all I freaking play is Stardew Valley. <laughs> I've got heaps of games on it, but I only play Stardew. And I haven't actually played it in a while. Um, I'm going to dust off that powder under my soon. But first, I'm just going to go in with some bronzer. I'm going to use one that's discontinued now. Well, I think it is the Too Faced one. because I, I love this. I've loved this since day dot, since this came out years and years ago. And I'm still using the same one. And it's still going strong. I love it so much. Mm, which brush? Let me use this. Powder Tulip. It's got some fluff on it. All my brushes have fluff on them because Porter comes in here when I'm like working and stuff. And um, to keep him entertained, I just give him like these, these like brush holders. And he just sits there and like tips them out and puts them back in. But then of course when I go to use my brushes, I've got like fluff all in them. I'm literally going to put this where I use that other bronzer. Do I play any games with Hamish? Yeah, we play PUBG. Am I lagging? What's going on? Is it because I'm like streaming to two places? Honestly, technology is not my friend. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Hopefully it's okay. Brighton. All right. So I'm just gonna, yeah, put this over my cheeks. I want to keep this look very chill. Like I said, like I'm not doing anything crazy today. Like I don't want to have full on makeup, but I don't know. I just wanted to chat to you guys. Oops. Just taking a little bit more setting powder because I just missed some here. I feel like I need to turn this into like a fake mole because it's like uncoverable. Do you have any favorite products for clearing blackheads and clogged pores? I always go in with um, the Dermalogica or the Ordinary. They've both got like those kind of like chemical exfoliant peel type products. Um, oh man, I wish I could remember what they were called. The Ordinary has one that's red, right? Like the, the product is red. If anyone knows the name of it, please comment so I can shout it out. I love that. Um, when I have like congested skin, when I have, um, yeah, like blackheads or just like bumpy, like f any flaky skin or anything, I love it. And then Dermalogica has one that's like very similar. I feel like this side of my face looks so much nicer than the other side, which annoys me. Because I like this side of my face better. Oh, bright. Um, the camera I'm using is a EOS 90D. A Canon, sorry. EOS 90D. Do they still make this bronzer? I honestly don't think so. Um, I'm sure I looked for it. Uh... A couple months ago because I used it in a YouTube video and I was trying to link it in the dis the description down bar and I couldn't find it so I think it's like long gone but it's such a good bronzer like I love it good night guys falling asleep while watching good night Melissa have a good sleep I love your live streams and also the fact that you can go back and watch if you missed it I'm glad you like them um, can you please, please, please do a lip swatch of the new MAC Maxible Matte Lipsticks? Um, if I get them, yes. 
I know they're sending me some lipsticks. I wonder if it's those ones. I did just buy some MAC stuff too. I don't, I don't know if I've seen those. Are they like brand new? Okay. Oh, my eyes are twitching. That bronzer is stunning. I wish I owned it. Honestly, it's so pretty. I feel bad when I use it now. Because like, I don't think you can like buy it anymore. That looks so much better. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of like a brightening powder in my eyes as well. Just put that back. I'm trying to clean as I go because otherwise my room gets so messy. Last time I did a live stream it was a disaster because like I couldn't find anything because my room was so messy. Um, so yeah, I tidied it up before I <laughs> did another one. Do I have a favourite perfume? I'm loving the... Juicy Apple by Kayali. I just had to check what it's called. I'm loving that still. I've been wearing that for like the past year probably. Thank you for all the new followers over on Twitch too, guys. Posh, Jan, Mary, Star, Discriminator. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, favorite skincare brands. Um, at the moment, I am loving, Tr is it Trini London? I'm actually using some of her stuff. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, itchy throat. Um, what's the other brand? I have it right here somewhere. Oh, it's up by my light. Um, it's like a Korean truffle brand. I'm using like the moisturizer and serum. I don't know, I have to show you in a video. Um, I'm loving Dermalogica. I'm using that a lot. What else am I using? I'm using such a mixture. That's the problem with me. I'm always using like a mishmash of brands at all times, you know? Those are definitely some favourites. So happy I adore you all the way from Arizona, USA. Oh, hi. Lots of love from the UK. Hey. <laughs> Will I be doing another declutter series? Yeah, I've literally like got that on my list. Like it's probably one of the very next videos I'm filming. I do already have like two videos filmed that'll go up before it, but like in terms of actually filming that, yeah, it's coming very soon. I'm gonna use, I don't wanna use, no, I want a peachy color. Let's use pound cake. This is the Easy Bacon Snatch. Um, and cause I want it to be full on, I'm gonna use it with a ultra soft powder puff. So yeah, definitely a declutter very soon. I think I'm gonna start with this drawer next to me, which is um, primers, powders, face skincare, setting sprays, foundations, concealers, <laughs> just reading out the same things. Um, there's so many foundations I need to do like I need to clear them out so that's probably gonna be the first one I feel like it's such a good first one because it's like the most interesting and I don't even know if I'll like do it all in one video or if that'll be two parts because there's that much stuff we'll have to see how long it takes but I always obviously do like um, look how much that brightened I always do my declutters in lots of different steps because there's just so much stuff I also want to do a declutter of my actual new stuff drawer and then I'll probably do like a giveaway. Um, all right, my eyelids look so crusty. Might have to do some primer. What are you guys listening to at the moment? I'm really shit at keeping up with new music because obviously I'm hanging out with Porter all the time and my music is not appropriate for him for the most part. Um, I need to like listen to the new music Friday playlist over on Spotify. And that's normally what I do when I'm doing my makeup like this, but because I'm streaming to YouTube, I can't. And so I'm really sad because <laughs> I love just doing my makeup and listening to music. Um, the other day I filmed a get ready with me while I just listened to music because of that reason because I, I just wanted to listen to music and do my makeup so I might edit that and do like a voiceover we'll see the makeup did come out real cute I also filmed a video um, like I said I was gonna do where I used a collection from Exo Beauty that we aren't launching and like talking about why we're not launching it and the makeup turned out so freaking beautiful and it makes me want to launch it, but I'm not. <laughs> but like, I was like, oh my God, I remember why I was so excited about this collection now, you know? It's so cool. 
This is just the um, P. Louise base and a concealer brush. I'm just doing a really little amount because my eyelids looked real crusty and red. I've been watching you since you and your hubby were first dating. You're the first at Pulitzer I watched and that's why I'm into makeup. That's so cool. MAC are 40 this year and they have reformulated the MAC matte lipsticks with new shades and bestsellers. Cool! Favourite things to do in Palmy? Um, hmm. I mostly, like, I just like going for walks and going to parks and stuff. I mean, I've got a baby now, so we like going for walks. We like going to, like, the Esplanade and going around and just chilling. Um, if it's just Hamish and I, which is rare, we love going out to eat. We love going to Wabi Sabi, which is like Japanese food. We love going to Little Savannah, which I think is South African food. Um, I don't know, like mostly here in Palmy, like we chill out at home and we have friends over and we just chill, you know. My baby's moving. Is he waking up? Ugh. Blush. Um, 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 um. I'm thinking pinky. I was going to do my eye makeup first, but I just figured I'd put on my blush and go from there. So I'm not doing anything too full on. I'm going to use the shade Daisy from the Exo Beauty Brush Duo. I'm kind of blending that like into the highlight. Not highlight, what's it called? Under eye brightening powder. Don't even have highlight on chin. The Revlon Colorstay Days, oh my gosh. My auntie got me that for the first time, so that's why I always loved it. So when I was in like high school, when I was getting into makeup, for my birthday one year, my auntie was like, I'll take you to get like a proper foundation. Cause like, I was using like tinted moisturizers and piling them on so thick that they'd like melt off my face and rub onto all my clothes. Uh, <clears throat> like the Dove tinted moisturizer. Do you guys remember that tinted moisturizer? <laughs> so like, I must've been like 15 or something or 14, 15, and my auntie was like, I'll take you to get a proper foundation. So we went in and got um, Revlon Colorstay. My life was changed. I just got a text, hey, I should let him know that Porter's awake. Um, but yeah, and I wore that for years. I wore that for like probably four or five years. Um... Sorry guys, one second. Just have to scroll and find him. He's just chilling in bed playing with his stuffies. Um, yeah, Revlon Colorstay was so good back then. I'm sure it was like $40. And I remember being like outraged when I started like discovering YouTube and um, discovering that in America, Revlon Colorstay was like $10 or like something. And I was like so offended as a Kiwi. I was like, what? Like obviously back then didn't understand exchange rates and stuff, but even that being considered, it's so much cheaper in America. How much is it these days? Does anyone know how much like Revlon is now? Hey, Chasing Rainbows. Um, favorite clothing brands. I'm useless with fashion at the moment. I'm currently wearing Posty because it's super affordable and it's comfy and the sizing's really nice for my mum bod. Um, I always seem to gravitate towards Glassons. Like they've got good basics, good pants, good skirts. Where else have I been shopping? I honestly don't shop very often. And I'm so out of the loop with fashion. If you ask me what's in fashion, dunno. Wouldn't have a clue. I just want to do like a bronze eye. Mm -mm -mm. Bronze or terracotta. Alright, I'm going to start with terracotta. This is the um, terracotta palette from EXO Beauty. So I'm using terracotta right here on a big fluffy blender brush 
Oh, we'll just blend it up slowly. I think it's $12. Is that in the USA? That can't be New Zealand. I'll just spread that out. Pretty colours. Thank you. Hi, how do I say it? Sama? Sama? Sam? How are you? $12.48 at Walmart currently for Colour Stay. Oh man. Dang. I remember also um, back in like the beginning of like YouTube days, like when I started um, uploading videos, and Elf was like $1. Um, in America, like obviously you had the Eyes Lips Face website for a dollar. And in New Zealand, they started like um, stocking it in some places in New Zealand, like jewellery shops, random I know. But um, I think like the jewellery shops in New Zealand that it was stocked in was kind of like your guys' clears, I believe. Like, you know, like um, teen, young adult, like fast fashion jewellery kind of vibes. And... I think it was called, was it Diva, was it, guys? Wasn't it Diva or Equip or something? Anyway, and it was like $15 each item. And I was like, in America, this is $1. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Does I'll still do the $1 range or is it all like a little bit more now? Obviously, like it's still so cheap and so worth it. Elf is such a great brand. I've honestly supported that brand my entire YouTube career. Like I feel like I've always been using Elf. Oh, Actually, maybe there's been, like, a little gap in the middle somewhere where, like, I didn't really have any elf stuff. But now recently as well, they've just got so many banging products. I actually was like, this brand is so, like, freaking good and growing so rapidly. I bought stocks in it. <laughs> and they're up, like, like, huge. Like, they are growing. Their stock price grows so rapidly. It's crazy. I don't know much about stocks, by the way. Don't listen to me too much. I do it more for like learning. I don't invest lots of money. I'm too scared. $30 in Australia. Yeah, that's. I think it's probably still about 40 here in New Zealand. I could look it up right now, but I just can't be bothered. But I remember it used to be like 30 or 40. I actually want to go into Farmers, which is like our department store vibe. Um, I want to go in there and just see what makeup's there at the moment. So I haven't like gone to have a look in a long time and I haven't looked at brands like Australis and all that. Are they still in there? Like I literally don't go in there. I haven't been in in years. Go have a look at like L'Oreal and stuff, you know? See what's out there. I should actually have a look at Kmart too because I think Kmart has some elf stuff, doesn't it? Hey Nat. I remember when you only used the elf under eye powder throwback. Remember when I used to use the um, brow duo? And I do like thick AF brows. It was when like brows, like thick brows were in. And everyone's like, a thin brows will never come back. Now like thin brows are so popular over on TikTok. I'm just trying to keep this kind of sheer. That's why I'm just working in very thin layers right now, blending it up. Because I don't want it to be like too, like obviously it's going to be terracotta, but I don't want it to be like full on. Enco's hit the US. Yes. She wasn't impressed? I love Emco, like genuinely, but I know some people hate it because they like rip off other products. But at the same time, it's genuinely so good. <laughs> and I like to save money, you know? Plus I feel like that's what Elf and stuff do. They just don't do like the packaging the same, you know? Can someone tell me the name and brand of the palette she's using? It is Exo Beauty Terracotta Palette. You can take a little screenshot if you want. It's my own brand. And it's beautiful, if I do say so myself. <laughs> oh, it was Tati that did it? I'll have to watch it and see what she said. Wait, has he gone back to sleep? Oh, no, he hasn't. <laughs> Hamish is just getting him up now. He's such a good boy. Oh. He's so gorgeous. I love that kid. Um, I want to do like a more bronzy coloured eyeshadow. What's my favourite model co? Um, like Emco. Um, my favourite 
honestly boring, but the product I use the most, where is it? Oh, I took it off Porter the other day. Where did I put it? Here. He was trying to chill on the sharpener. I was like, no, you can't do that. This Emco um, Universal Eyeliner. Look, I'll do a little, I'll put it on now. It is so, it's like the perfect color. So I like to say it's kind of like in between. Um, it's in between like a, pe like a peach eyeliner, which we all love because it's not as stark as white, but it also like kind of white. So it's so brightening and it like conceals all the redness on my waterline. Like I love this and it actually lasts on me. And it's not like, it doesn't hurt to draw on or anything, you know, like it's just so good. So boring. I'm following your bridal makeup tutorial for my wedding photos. Yay, let me know how it goes. I lose your, use your lip veils and I love them. Thank you. I used one yesterday. Is there a new Trisha Paytas beauty collab? I didn't even hear anything about it. Have you ever thought about doing an ASMR makeup video? I have, I have thought about it. Should I do it? I don't know, I feel like everyone would hate it. <laughs> I'm just looking in my like cream eyeshadows drawer to see what I have that I could do like something a little bit bronzy. Mm. It's gonna be rogue. I don't even know if they still make these. Hourglass scattered light. Glitter eyeshadow. This is Ray. What's your favorite thing about YouTube? Just like the community vibes. Like I feel like over on YouTube, Twitch is similar to um, when I used to obviously be more consistent on my Twitch. Um, just, yeah, the community vibes. Like you get to kind of like see your followers a lot. Like you see the usernames pop up a lot. Um, and I just like the long form content because like as a viewer when I'm watching other people, you know, like I don't know you just learn more about them. It's like entertaining. I do love TikTok and stuff for like um, Like, you know, it's just so quick you can just scroll and like find really fun stuff and it's entertaining because it's like doom scrolling But I feel like YouTube like the longer form is just nice for like connection, you know I'm just gonna go in with a denser brush and I'm going to do a little bit of, I'm going to mix together, this is weird, I know, but I'm mixing crude and ginger and I'm just using this to define before we put on this like glittery shade otherwise I feel like it's going to be a bit wishy-washy. I remember when Shannon and her husband did burger challenges, oh my god I was literally talking about that last night. I was talking about like the chicken nugget challenge and stuff and all those like baby food challenges and things. How funny. Shut the iPad. Porter's no longer in his bed. Man, it's hot. It's so hot. How's Sally? She's gonna, she actually just got back. I saw she got back her account. She got locked out of it for ages. Yeah, I'm seeing her at Easter. So that'll be cool. We're doing painting. <laughs> I bought painting supplies on um, uh, Kmart. And I was like, can we do like painting? <laughs> like all of us, like we've got like a group of friends going. I was like, it'd be fun. We can paint. I'm gonna do a little bit of the terracotta color under my eyes. I just feel like this color looks really pretty with like anyone's eye color. Makes it pop. Yes, I do wanna pick up the new makeup by Mario Kiltone um, neutral palette. I'm really interested in that one actually. I saw it and I was like, I need that. <laughs> so I will be picking it up. Is it out yet in New Zealand or has it not yet reached? Is that Sephora or Mecca that has makeup by Mari? I think it's Sephora, isn't it? If you're just tuning in, I am reading chats from both Twitch and YouTube, mostly YouTube, because there's way more action on YouTube. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I remember Sally Jo. I lived for her videos as another fair girly myself. Yes. That's why I continue to watch you because you never stop doing long form content. Please never stop doing long form. I don't think I will. I love it. I don't like, I don't upload very much on TikTok. I need to get better. But I want to do like live streams on TikTok again because it was really good. It was good for like discoverability. Like people were finding, and this is the same, like every time I upload a TikTok, um, okay, now I'm going in with the glittery eyeshadow. It's kind of like a putty kind of texture. I don't know how this is going to go on this brush. That's pretty. It kind of reminds me of satin taupe, this color. It's not as bronze as I was going to go for. I might layer it with something else. Anyways, every time I upload a TikTok video, like, I get almost every time comments being like, oh my god, Shannon, like, I haven't seen you for years. Like, you know, this is what happens when, like, like, it happens to me too. I'll follow people, but then, like, I forget about them because the algorithm doesn't show me their stuff. And so, like, one day I'll just come across their videos again and then, like, binge watch them. That's what happens when, like, I upload TikToks and stuff. Like, people, like, rediscover me. So I need to do it more because that's good, obviously, like, for channel growth and stuff. Um, but I don't know, I just always get, get just so focused on my YouTube channel and stuff. And then, obviously, I've got, like, a business and stuff that I'm doing as well behind the scenes. And finding time for all of these different things is just full on. Like, back in the day, when I started YouTube, it was, like, just YouTube. And then Instagram kind of became big. Um, I was on Instagram quite early, but, like, it was never, like, a big thing. Man, that lighting's bad. And then, um, but yeah, I still had Instagram and then like obviously Twitter, that was fine. But then like nowadays it's like you've got all of these different platforms and it's so hard to like kind of keep up with them all. And even with like streaming, it's the same. It's like stream on, what's that other one now? Like Kick and it's like Instagram, live stream, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok. Like it's just so much stuff to keep up with so I'm like I always prioritize my YouTube channel because I just enjoy it like I enjoy the process I do need to do more TikToks because I like watching TikToks does anyone know what's happening with TikTok as well with like the whole American thing I don't know I don't keep up with it because I'm not American I need a warmer one let's layer on burnish Oh, I've never used this one. Pretty. It's like golden bronze. I feel like if I use my finger, it will work better. I binge watch your videos while I clean or while I'm getting ready for work. Awesome. I do that too. When I'm like doing stuff on my computer, like I'll have like YouTube on in the background or Twitch. Sometimes I just like have like my favorite Twitch streamers in the background as well. Oh, this looks weird because it's like a warm tone and a cool tone. It's almost like making it go a bit duochrome. I should have just used this one in the first place. It probably would have. Oh, no, nah, I like that. That looks cool. Hi from Denmark. Hey, you were my first ever sub 10 years ago. I still binge watch your videos. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Hi from Wales. Hi. How's the weather over there right now? I wonder if this is like this would look cooler like wet too should I try it why not there's not too much fallout my skin looks so crap all of a sudden with this lighting but I know it's just the lighting I'm just gonna spritz my brush this is the um I've been loving this the tropical breeze makeup fixer by Ofra I might actually put some on my face Oh, there you go. Look, it's like, it goes from being like a shimmer glitter to if you wet it, it's like a liquid metal. Oh yeah, I like that. Might just wet it a little bit more. I don't even know if you can still get these. I got sent these like probably two years ago. And this is why I need to do a declutter. And I've decided this time when I'm doing my declutter, I'm actually going to like keep my phone on me and Google what's still available. And like if it's discontinued, I need to just kind of either get rid of it or know not to use it in a video. 
because I hate it when I use something and then I go to link it. I'm like, oh shit, it's gone. You know? Oh, I've just realized I haven't even done my eyebrows. That's why I'm looking weird. Rainy. <laughs> I've only just joined what foundation you're wearing. I am wearing the It Cosmetics CC Cream, which is really good coverage. Where's Porter? He's upstairs with Hamish. I'm in the UK and all we've had is rain and windstorms, not a sleigh. <laughs> UK weather is never a sleigh. Man. I said this last time I did a stream, I was like, yeah, every time I've been in London, I think I've only been to London in England. Oh, I had like a stopover somewhere else, but like I've only been in London, like walking around. And every time it's not good weather. But I've seen with my eyes, I've seen people sharing like videos where it's like beautiful. I just haven't seen it yet. It's the same as Wellington here in New Zealand. Every time I go, it's crap. <laughs> I feel like UK weather is so similar to New Zealand weather in a lot of ways. Hi from Blenheim, hey. I need a new setting spray. Honestly, I actually wanna have a look and see if there's any new ones out. Cause I wanna like try some new ones. Like I've kind of just been using the same old ones lately. And when I do my declutter, I've got so many really old ones that I wanna get rid of. Um, Cause yeah, I'm just gonna do one more layer of this. Cause I just love it when my face feels like wet. And I said this in another video, but the scent of this is so yum. But it reminds me of my nana, um, who's passed. But, like, there is something about the scent that reminds me of, like, my nana. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was, like, a perfume she wore or a soap or, like, like, there's just something about it. Which is so random. But every time I spray it, I feel really happy. Oh, my gosh. Do you guys want to talk about, like, okay. So, the other day, I was having the weirdest day. And, like... It ended up with me having to do a rush trip to Wellington to go like pick up Hamish because we had to drop off our Range Rover to get fixed and like all of this stuff was going on. Um, we're looking for a new car because I'm sick of that Range Rover. Anyway, so there was all of these coincidences. I love talking about coincidences. So the first one was I was um, cleaning my room and I was going upstairs to grab like spray and wipe and a cloth and let me just check that how much didn't take no and I was like coming back downstairs I was just on my phone scrolling Instagram and it came up with this like meme and it was like what I got versus like what happened whatever it was and it was this chick doing a crochet and it was like a little frog and it was like the picture on the box versus what she made and it was like hers was like a bit cooked looking and it was really cute like she did a good job like first time I was like oh my god that's so cute I walk in to my room literally like a second passes and I'm watching a streamer just like in the background while I was cleaning and she she read out someone's chat that said I've just started crochet for the first time um I'm not very good at it but like it's really fun and she was like oh my god that's so cute and she like said the exact same thing that I said not even the same person obviously like mine was like a meme on Instagram and hers was like a viewer I've got this little scab right here this is fun and I was like oh there's a weird coincidence then um I was sending Hamish a photo so he was in Wellington like I said and I just sent him a photo of my room because I was like oh look I'm just cleaning my room so I sent him a picture like we just always send garbage pictures to each other it was like not a special picture it was just like me sending him a picture like this is what I'm doing and there was like this perfect circle of light around my chair. And I could not, like, like I saw it in real life and then it was gone. Like it was like nothing changed, but it was just gone. It was like the circle of light. I was like, oh, that was weird. Could be explained, you know. And then this is after I decided I needed to go rescue Hamish from Wellington because his phone was going to die. And all of a sudden they were like, you need to leave your car here. And Hamish was like, cool, so I'll have to get the bus back or whatever. And it was, wasn't going to be too late, but we had to pick up Porter and like all this stuff. Long story short, I'm driving. So I was like, shit, I need to get petrol. So I looked down at my dash and like, I just saw 51515. And I was like, what's that? Is that glitch? I was like, I'm pretty sure that's my K's travel, but like that looks weird. So then I was like, whatever, I'll check it again soon and see if it changes. So I drove, got my fuel 
And then I was like driving to Wellington and I was like, oh shit, have a look at that. So I like look at it and it says 51555, like perfectly. I was like, oh, that's weird. Like all the same numbers. And then um, I was like, oh my God. And I was like a bit like rattled from it. And I like looked down again and it went 51556. So I was like, it was just a coincidence. But I was like, oh my God, so many coincidences. I've had so many weird things like that happen. Do you guys have weird stuff like that happen? I'm like, it must be like supernatural, surely. Surely it's a little sign. Um, there was something else that happened too to do with my nana and I was thinking about her and I was like, oh, if that's her, she'll send a sign and then something happened but now I can't remember, of course. But it was in the same day and I told Hamish about it after asking him if he remembers what I said. God damn it. There was another one where one of my best friends, unfortunately, her dad passed away and I was like, oh, do you ever feel like you like feel his presence? And she was like... Yeah, I do, but I'm not sure if I, I'm just imagining it or whatever. And um, we were sitting there and then literally this car pulls up. I'm like, who's that? It was like the middle of the day on like a friggin' Tuesday or something. And I was like, who's that? And um, my door, like someone knocks on my door and there's flowers and it's my dad. And I hadn't seen my dad in like a couple years. He never comes over and he brought me flowers and he just... Like, was at the door and he's like, oh, I don't want to come in. I just wanted to pop by and say I was thinking of you and give you some flowers. And he gave me these flowers. And I was like, thanks, Dad. Like, hadn't seen him in a long time. Hadn't talked to him at all. Couldn't even get in contact with him if I wanted to. And then um, I took the flowers and he's like, okay, I've got to go. And he left. It was like a fleeting visit. And I walk into my, like, to where my friend was. And I was like, that's fucking weird. Like, we were just talking about her dad and, like, signs and stuff. It was like, that was like her dad doing that because like my dad would never do that and it was like it feels fake like like when I think about it I'm like that's just something that wouldn't happen but it happened do you know what I mean it's so weird anyway I'm sure probably is actually just coincidences but I love talking about that stuff it's so interesting to me I need to do my brows guys I can't read these some of these messages, otherwise I'm gonna bore my eyes out. Literally, my eyes are like watering reading your message, Reese. <laughs> suck it in. Pretending I can suck in my tears from my nose. I'm using this. They don't even make this anymore, browsings. But I just feel like using it because I haven't done my brows in this way in a while. And I just have been hating my brows lately, so I need to like try something old. Do you know what I mean? I'm mixing both the colours together. Whoops. I made that really thick. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Nine times out of ten, I look at my phone to see what the time is. It's always 46 minutes past the hour. It gives me the creeps. Isn't that weird how that stuff happens? Hello, Shan. Hi, everyone. Hey. You have no idea how many times I rewatched the clubbing you with, with me you did with Lauren, Carissa and Chloe. I used to check my sub box every day after school to see if you posted. Oh my god, I love you. <laughs> I feel that because I was the same way. Um, did anyone back in the day watch Fafinette? I used to love her channel and before I started my channel, I literally created my channel to subscribe to her. And every day I would come home and like pray that she'd uploaded a new video. Her and Jay Loves Mac. Does anyone remember them? I don't think either of them upload anymore. We're doing old school brows. I'm just literally filling them in. I like it though. There's books named Signs by Laura Lynn Jackson. It's actually pretty good if you're really into this stuff. Oh, interesting. I fully believe any kind of coincidence is a sign or symbolic of something or the universe trying to tell me something. <laughs> oh, do you know another weird coincidence? So, um... When, this was a few years ago when I used to travel all the time. I had a freaking trip every month. 
So at one point I was in Rarotonga, I saw this kid, I remember him clearly. Um, I saw the same kid like a few months later at an airport because he posted me on a story, same kid. I saw the same kid that was at in Auckland, saw the same kid like the next year or something or a couple years later, Disneyland in LA or where's Disneyland, Anaheim. Is that LA? Just out of LA. And I was like, this is so weird. He was a literal child though, like, couldn't have been a stalker. <laughs> like, at least his parents were stalking me. But like, it's not like we talked to each other, we just saw each other. And like, he saw me and I saw him and I'm like, this is so weird. Why am I seeing you all around the world? I'm sure I saw him in another country too. Why, like, isn't that so weird? Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Wait, I'm obsessed watching Michael Finch. I always remember the first time I saw him was on one of your vlogs. <laughs> I'm from Norway and I love your channel. Hey! How's it in Norway? How's the weather over there, actually? This is my thing I'm asking people. Today, if you've been tuned in for a while, you can see our weather is sunny, cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny, cloudy. It's perfect weather outside again now. After I've finished doing my makeup, what time are you done? Do you want lunch? Hamish has just texted me. Yeah, I was literally just about to say. <laughs> After I finish my makeup, I'll probably get off and go for some lunch and then we'll go do some fun stuff out in the nice weather while we've still got it. My eyes itchy. What time are you done? Do you want lunch? Um, maybe like how long will I be? Mm, we'll say 20 minutes away from being done. Yep, I'll text you when I'm about to be finished. Hamish is the best. Look at him. How nice. He's been cooking me um, real good eggs lately. Back in an egg phase. Does anyone else go through egg phases? Okay, this brow's a bit thicker, but I feel like it's like not too noticeable. So let's do, where's another old favorite? Actually, I'm gonna use the Uoma, I don't know what color this is. But it's the, what's it called? Blowout. I really like this colour. I wish I knew what it was. But the sticker came off. Greetings from Greece. Hi. How's my garden going? Good, but I'm kind of like in between seasons now. So I needed like plants and broccolis or something. Well, I did do some. And I'm kind of like waiting for my tomatoes and things to die. So they're just chilling, like I'm still harvesting so many, but like the plants are like dying and the weather's all over the place. Like some days it's so hot and then some days it's freezing. So I just think everything's kind of freaking out. So I'm kind of intimidated to like go into a new season. You know, spring, I feel like I nailed it. Most things did okay. Um, what failed? My cucumber plants started to die like, I got so many cucumbers off my plant, but it did start to die, like, I don't know, after a month. My watermelons failed. They didn't grow big. They just kind of kept falling off. I don't think they were getting pollinated properly. Um, I need to put some, like, highlighter on my brow bone. But, yeah, I'm still enjoying gardening, though. I'll just use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Idol. I'm late girl pray well while you look gorgeous per usual. Thank you, Brittany. I am well, thank you. Hope you're well. 
Louis and Zeus are really good. I was just saying earlier, Louis was out sunbathing on the balcony earlier, living his best life. Just doing a little bit of this, I don't want it to be too full on. Oh, here we go again, clouds. I'm from Florida, USA, and I find it so weird that all other countries text using WhatsApp rather than the texting app on the phone. See, I don't do either. I do not use WhatsApp. I do not use iMessage. I use Facebook Messenger. No one I know uses text. Literally, like if I check my texts, it'll all just be um, like verification codes. Yeah. It's all just verification codes or appointments. Like, text Y to confirm your appointment. Um, nah, yeah, I use only Messenger. I remember, <laughs> it's so, it is weird though, because when I went to New York, we were gonna go hang out with Carly, Carly Bible, and she doesn't use Facebook Messenger, and I don't use WhatsApp. We we're like messaging each other, and it would take us like friggin' two business friggin' days to reply to each message because. We were just like so shit at like remembering where to message and then like when we we're actually hanging out it was fine like we got it I wrapped it around my head I was like okay we're using whatsapp we're using whatsapp <laughs> what's the point of a cell <laughs> I literally use my phone for the point of being a computer I don't even ring people on it or if I do it's um, video calling on Facebook Messenger. I video call my mum, like, with Porter. So funny, eh? Like, it's literally just a computer now. Um, I feel like my eye maker looks weird for some reason. But it might be the lighting changing. Also, I haven't done my lashes and stuff. Um, alright, I'm gonna do... Facebook Messenger, that's wild. <laughs> I know. Kia ora. Hi Pip, how are you? By the way, if you're confused, I'm reading um, messages off both YouTube and Twitch right now. Is that common for all ages in New Zealand? I mean, everyone I know uses Facebook, like Hamish's parents, my mum, my family. I don't even have like people's phone numbers saved to my contacts, which I should, because what happens if I'm in an accident or something? <laughs> um, literally, it's just like bare numbers. Like Hamish calls me sometimes, but very rarely, like maybe like once every three months, like he'll need to call me for some reason. Um, yeah. Messenger gang here. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do a live earlier or am I imagining things? Today? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people in the US don't use Facebook at all anymore. I agree. I don't think US people do. I feel like it's a New Zealand thing. I don't really use Facebook um, very much. I scroll every now and again. I'm going to use brick. I usually use dust, but we'll do brick. This is um, the same range as the eyeshadow I used today, the Terracotta Collection from XO Beauty, but this is the obviously the eyeliner palette. So it's just activated with water. I need a brush. Um, um, um. It's just activated with water or setting, I just use setting spray because it's like convenient. And then you literally just make it however thick you want it. Obviously more setting spray makes it runnier. And you just make your own little concoction. You can mix the colors together. And the pigment's really good. Do I wanna go all the way across here? Yeah. Sorry, it's probably out of focus a little bit. What's my Twitch? My Twitch is, I think, just Shanexo as well. Whoops. My lips look really crusty, but it's just makeup. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit crusty, actually. I lied.
Snap is huge in the US. Oh, really? I never use my Snapchat anymore. I used to have such a big Snapchat back in the day. Like, when Snapchat was fresh. <laughs> my throat's so itchy. But, um, I don't know. I just didn't really... I don't know. Thank you for all the new, um, Twitch followers, guys. Thank you, thank you. I'm good also, thank you. Facebook is kind of the easiest form of communicating with people from all over. Yeah, I think so too. And then what's the other one? Hamish has another one that he uses with like suppliers overseas. Is it WeChat or something? No. Is it? There's another one. Like when we're talking to suppliers in like Italy and China and India and like all these different countries. There's so many different friggin' places. And this is what I mean, like, it's the same thing with social media, like, I can't keep up with all the different platforms. Yeah, it's, like, overwhelming. So, yeah, I just stick to Facebook Messenger. <laughs> when I actually do scroll, like, actual Facebook too, I'm not even, like, no one I know posts. I don't know anyone on my friends list that posts to Facebook. Like, I'm literally scrolling, and it's all, like, groups I'm a part of, like, gardening groups and stuff. I'll join, like, um like gardening, parenting, recipes, like it's stuff like that, like private groups. Let's be real, everyone used to use Snap for the filters back in the day. That's actually so true, because they were like the OG people that did like filters, eh? So you're so right. My brush is like a little bit frayed and it's like making it kind of hard. I can hear Porter rolling a ball upstairs. Hi, make it up. Greetings from Ukraine, hey. Good morning from Queensland. I got rid of all my social media now. I now have only YouTube. It's been the greatest change, honestly. I don't blame you. I feel like if I wasn't a creator, I would do the exact same. Because I waste so much brain cells on friggin' TikTok and stuff, scrolling endlessly. Like Instagram. Like, I swear, all of the videos, all the reels, sorry, that come up on my Instagram, like, you know how you, like, watch one thing, that's fine, like, like, someone I follow will post a makeup reel, and I'll watch it, right, but then you scroll, and it takes you just, like, across the internet, and it's garbage, like, I swear, the TikTok reels are garbage, it's just full of garbage, it only recommends me garbage, I never, like, scroll and find new people to follow, it's just, like, these garbage memes and things. Like, sometimes some of them are funny, but they're so out the gate. Like, they're not even, like... Like, the quality between Reels and TikTok is so different for me. And it's, like, surely my algorithm's not this broken, like, on Instagram. Because, like, I very clearly follow beauty, a couple of gardening pages, a couple of, like, baby pages. Like, it's, it's nothing to warrant my algorithm at all and I don't engage with them so I'm like what the frick does anyone else find that rabbit hole of a mess literally and like it, my friends are the same like they also get garbage or they get like tiktoks that are like a month late <laughs> like a random tiktok trend I'm like yeah Got a little bit of eyeliner on there. This is nice, just taking my time doing my makeup. Okay, mascara. Which one should I use? I kind of don't feel like wearing falsies, but we'll see. Because falsies really do just like make everything look so much nicer. I'm gonna use my level up lengthening mascara and no, that's black, I want brown. Where is it? Whoops, here it is. Sorry for sniffing. 
Instagram doesn't make sense anymore. My FYP doesn't even show up people. I follow its ads and recommended. I feel that, man. Um, I love Instagram for stories, though. Like, I watch, like, I'll literally watch everyone's stories on Instagram as many as I can. I follow too many people. But, like, I love watching Instagram stories. That's why I love Instagram still. And, like, I've tried to start posting more often on there, too. Every now and again when I have energy. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like posting... Oh, look, my water, eye's watering and now I've got friggin... I'll just wait for my eye to stop watering. It's from the hay fever. I've, like, sniffed and now my eye's watering. Um, yeah, I just feel like posting... Every time I tilt my head back, my eye's watering. Is that normal? I'm going to try not to, like, tilt my head back. Um, taking selfies it just feels weird now. Does anyone else feel like that? I miss um, the days of Instagram just being full of people's selfies. And like someone would do cute makeup and post a selfie. Now it's like people like do like these full on like photo shoots and things. I remember that transition well too because like it was when I was traveling a lot and I was like, oh now I've got to start posting like all these like orchestrated like posing with cool backgrounds and events and stuff. I was like, oh, I just want to post a selfie with my cute makeup. But I felt pressured to do what everyone else was doing. And I did it, I did it, and I think I did it well too, but I just miss those days, you know, of just like the simple Instagram where like you'd post a picture of your nails, post a picture of your makeup, like it wasn't, like everything on social media in general just turned into like such orchestrated, like high quality. And I mean high quality as in like, everyone started using these flash backgrounds with flashlights and like editing really flash and like, it's just not simple anymore, you know, like, there was a time where it was just so relatable and organic because it was just people, like, that love doing makeup, sitting in their room doing makeup, and now it's like, I don't know, everyone's like a celebrity now, or like, does that make sense? I'm not bitching, I'm just saying, it's like the transition I've seen, because I've been doing this for so long. Have I ever been to Norway? I have not. Be careful how much short videos you watch because it's been linked to diminished short-term memory. I always wonder stuff like that, eh? I was like, I swear, future generations. It's going to be interesting. I feel dumb sometimes when I've just been sitting there scrolling. Like, does anyone else do it in bed? I get in a real bad habit where I'll be, like, getting ready to go to bed. I'll be laying in bed and I'll just get, like, hooked in, like, shitty TikToks. Not shitty, but, you know. And I just scroll and scroll. And it's like addictive. Like you can't stop. I'm like waiting for a Black Mirror episode about it. Oh. Where the heck did I just put that eyeliner? Got friggin... I'll wipe this off. Alright, that'll do. I love this mascara so much, but it's definitely clumpy right now. It's old. I need to get a new one. Oh shit, I just got it all over my waterline now. How's the lighting now? That's kind of okay. I need to find some like royalty free make, I mean not royalty free, <laughs> royalty free makeup, royalty free music that I can use that doesn't suck. That I can like play in the background while I do my live stream. Oh yeah, I'm starting to get hungry now. I haven't even eaten anything today. I will have had his coffee and water. And it's 1.17 p.m. Oh, funny I think I've been following you since 2012 and you had black hair. Crazy. Isn't that crazy? You guys have literally basically seen me grow up. Like you obviously didn't see me when I was like a young teenager, but like I feel like I've changed so much in that time and also haven't changed. Like... I've changed in a positive manner in terms of like, I've become more confident um, and like you've seen me like 
you've seen like my successes and you've seen like just yeah me grow as a person in a positive way like it's so cool <laughs> isn't that crazy <clears throat> oh it's like that situation where like my hay fever is so shit I'm like am I getting sick but then I like take an antihistamine and I feel fine <laughs> I just forgot before I started filming and now I'm paying for it <clears throat> um I honestly feel like I'm just not gonna do lashes because I don't want to look too overdone like, I've already got this friggin' glitter on my eyes. <laughs> I'm just gonna open up my blind and see what the lighting's like again, because I feel like you'll be able to see, like, the eyeshadow is so much better. Um, oh my god, it's so cloudy outside now. I don't understand how the weather changes so quickly, man. It actually looks so beautiful. I wish I could show you, but I've got too many cables plugged into my camera. It won't work. Okay, first things first, I need lip balm. Where's my current favorite one? I can't find it, it's the Kylie, I'm being, loving the Kylie one, but this is like my all time favorite, Brazilian Kiss. It's like literally empty, so I'm digging it out. Shan, your videos are so refreshing. Really enjoy watching them lately. Thank you for the words and for encouragement you send over. Thank you so much for the feedback. I miss the navy blue smoky eye. Oh my god. I'm getting ready too, but to go out to the club. Oh my god. Have fun. I should have put lip balm on it a long time ago. Because now I don't want to put my like lip combo on straight away. Um, I don't know why there's a little line right here on my face. There we go. Okay, I need to fix this friggin' mascara that went everywhere. I love these colors on my eyes. Can I see? My stomach is rumbling so loud. If you can hear that, I'm so embarrassed. Hold on, I gotta try and get it focused. Look how pretty. <laughs> oh, I'm out of focus again. My eyeliner is kind of crooked. I didn't notice before because I couldn't see in the lighting. Damn it. I'll fix it quickly. Funny that my English isn't even that good, but I love watching your videos, copy your makeup. I'm from Brazil. That makes me happy. Also, I want to travel there one day. Is that a bit better? Oh, my stomach's so loud. better a little bit I think it'll do I'm acting like I'm going to some oops some important event or something when really I'm gonna end up going to the park so cool I love that color man okay I might put a little bit of highlighter on my cheeks the same one I did on my brow bone this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Idol if you missed it. I don't want too much. I kind of want more blush on too, but we'll see. It's 
a little bit. I love this brush for highlighter. It's the Detail Face Brush. And it's also really good under the eyes. A little bit on the bridge of my nose. Oh, this is pretty. This is annoying though, my little scab. <clears throat> hi, hi, hi. Do you need that lip balm? The, this one? Yes, this, I have literally, literally, <laughs> I have literally had my own lip balms in the past. Adored them, duh. This, I think, is the bettest, bettest, best one. Better than anything else I've ever used. I love it. Sol de Janeiro, is that how you say it? I'm not even sure. But it's the Brazilian kiss. I get it off makeup. I've gone through like six of these. The fact that I'm digging into it like this should tell you everything you need to know. Genuinely though, I feel like if I wear it at night before bed, it's one of those ones that lasts all night, you know what I mean? Like I wake up in the morning and like I can still feel my lips are really, really, really moisturized. Um, if I put it on like in the morning, same thing, it'll last throughout the day, even if I'm eating and things like that, like it actually feels like it properly moisturizes. It doesn't just feel like a top coat. I feel like a lot of lip balms feel like a little top coat, you put them on, you feel like it's doing something, but your lips just don't ever feel like they're not dry. Whereas this, like sometimes I use it and then I forget to put on lip balm for like days afterwards because my lips genuinely just feel really good. And then I repeat the process. <laughs> The liner is so good, thank you. We don't hear the stomach, thank God. How awkward. Oh, I love this makeup. I just think that's so pretty. By the way, my top has this weird neckline on camera. It kind of looks like I've just got it pulled a weird way, but that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> mm. Lip pencil. Lily and Zeus are good. <laughs> I've always loved your videos as someone from Palmy feels like being back home watching you. I love that. That makes me happy. Um, okay, what lip combo do I want to do? Do I want to do, I just, I feel like, do I do pink? Something pinky. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do this. I wore something similar the other day and I loved it. All right. Oh, my hair, man, it's still pissing me off. I'm probably just gonna end up putting on a ponytail. First of all, a little bit more blush. This is Peony and Daisy. Not too much, because it is still very bright, but I just, I want it bright, you know? Just a little bit more. Might be a bit too much, but I don't care. I love you. I've been watching you since I was 10. Thank you. Oh, not me tuning in at the end of the look. I will have this saved to my channel. So if you missed anything, you can go watch it all over again and you can even skip through, fast forward it, you know, to see what I'm using or whatever. All right, I need to, do I need to sharpen this? No, it's actually pretty good. Let me just wipe off most of this lip balm. I'm so hungry all of a sudden. Okay, it's right, we're almost done. There goes my tummy again. So this, oh God, it's so loud. This is Blossom, yep, Blossom by EXO Beauty. And it's just like the most perfect pink. It's not too warm or cool. I'm just overlining my lips a little bit. When I overline, something I do, I don't know if this helps anyone, but I'll like kind of line my lips where I want, like where I, where, 
how do I say, line my normal lip. And then I kind of go over it and over it. And as I do that, it naturally just kind of goes outwards a little bit. So like it's kind of overlining without like going straight in there and like just doing a whole new lip line. It's like on my lip line, but just a little bit outside, if that makes sense. And I'll literally just keep doing that over and over again until it like looks how I want it. Like that's pretty good. Are you still making as much money as before on YouTube? <laughs> I mean, kind of confidential, but I still make good money. But, oh no, not as much as back in the day. For like influencers, the better money you get is obviously like from like brand deals and stuff. Oh my god, did you hear that one? That was a loud one. <laughs> okay. So we'll go like that. Once again, that's Blossom. Next will be Blossom. So now I don't know where I'm in focus. Whatever. Then I'm using Lace. This is a matte liquid lipstick and a pale like pinky nudie like that and I had a brush here to blend it yesterday where is it gone well not yesterday the other day this is it so it's a little bit ombre Would you ever consider training in something else and getting a job? I mean, who knows? I'd never say never, but right now I do what I love. And I also have a couple of businesses, so that's like my main source of income. And it's nice having flexibility, obviously, to spend time with my, my son and like, yeah. All right, so that's all done. And then I'm going to use Kisses lip gloss. It's so pretty. Let's see if I can like do a little zoomy. It's not gonna look as cool because like <laughs> the sun's not shining on it. Okay. That's not gonna do anything. Oh, well, it kind of did. It's so hard doing this backwards on like watching the screen. so pretty in real life that it's just not giving it any justice whoops get my chat back up I love the soft glam vibes thank you love you bye I'm also interested in Louis and Zeus I've literally had this question like a hundred times today <laughs> I'm not trying to ignore anyone. It's just that I've already said they're great. They're both upstairs. They literally spend most of their time upstairs at this house. I thought they'd like spend time downstairs looking out the front door because at our old house, that's what they did. But actually they prefer just being upstairs. Like Zeus likes it at the top of the stairs because it's all tiled and it's like nice and cold. I'm just kind of like focusing this in the center. And Louis is just wherever we are. Like if someone's upstairs though, he'll be upstairs. Like obviously I'm downstairs right now. Hamish is upstairs, so he'll be upstairs. But if both of us are downstairs, he'll come downstairs and chill out with us. Right. Let me brush my hair again. This is the thing, whenever it's like kind of oily, I brush it and then it goes all like piece. I don't like when it goes PC. Oh, I better text Hamish saying I'm getting off in a sec. So 
So that is my makeup of the day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I had lots of fun talking to you all. Um, I don't know when my next live stream will be. I was enjoying doing them on like, you know, a Tuesday or whatever, but I've just done this one. So, I mean, I might still do one early in the week. It just depends because we are going to go away for Easter. So I might be spending the beginning of this week just like doing my YouTube work and getting everything done before we go away. So I'm not too sure when my next live stream will be. It might be after Easter. We'll see. My hair is not straight at the back. This is what happens when I straighten my hair. I miss the back. <laughs> it's like wavy. All right. Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing day. And um, this will be saved to my YouTube channel if you want to go back and watch it. Um, you can go watch it for free. And... I love you guys. <laughs> Thanks for chatting with me and I'll talk to you guys in my next YouTube video or stream, whatever comes first. <laughs>